Uh, my name's Stuart Hutchison. My friends call me Hutch. I live in Wayne. And uh, I'm a union man. Yes, I am. I joined my first union when I was 20 years old. Uh, first union was Carpenter and Sawyer's Union. And uh, I love the union. I love the movement. It means it makes me strong. And that, uh, that's powerful. And it, it gives you a strength that is greater than you are by yourself. Um, when I started it, I got a wage of $4 an hour, and that was in incredibly high at the time. Um, I've since uh, belonged to about four or five other unions, and one union I'm a member of right now has as its motto, all for one and one for all. And I believe that. I believe that in my heart. I believe in the uh, adage that comes from the industrial workers of the world about an injury to one is an injury to all. I believe that, I follow it, I try to practice it in my life. So the reason I'm saying those things is because I want to convey to you that I think we need to get out of this business of it's us or them, for or against. I don't think there's a soul in this room who doesn't want a healthy environment, to make a good living, have a good home, have good schools, all the things everybody wants. We all want those things. After studying this, I cannot be in favor of Purgeon. I wish I could. But to those of you who talk about jobs, I think we need to talk about money. Now, after the thing is constructed, from my reading, in terms of full-time jobs, that 10 billion bucks is going to purchase uh, 150 jobs. 25 are going to be administrative, that's management. 125 will be workers. And that just strikes me as a hell of a lot of money for only 125 jobs. Uh, also, I think the safety factor is important. We say that uh, sequestration will uh, you know, guarantee 4,000 years or whatever it is. It's going to be completely safe. But we've heard all this stuff before. Remember, our country had a big movement in the 50s and 60s about this great thing called nuclear power. France uses nuclear power today, and I got to say to my French friends, I think you're nuts. Because we know from Three Mile Island, we know from Chernobyl that nuclear facilities can turn a huge amount of land into dead earth that is filled with nothing but poison. And whether coal is burnt or pressurized, it still produces carbon dioxide. I don't think it's the answer. I think it is dangerous. So I think we're talking about something that's too costly, something that is not proven to be safe. I mean, I want an ironclad guaranteed, 100% guarantee that if something's built on this scale, it's going to be safe. The proof is not there. This technology is new. Yes, the technology is being used elsewhere. And in those countries, including uh, one of the Scandinavian countries, I think it's Norway, uh, the people there are not happy with the development of this process. Uh, I think also we've got to consider our particular case. In addition to loving unions, loving organized labor. I love my state. I was born in New Jersey. I love New Jersey. I don't care what Jay Leno says. Or Coco. <laughs> um, but we got to face facts. We got a problem with water and air in our state. We have higher rates of autism, of asthma, of cancer, 
than the national average. Now, something's not right. Do we want to put it into place something that may, and I say will probably, increase those problems? Let's take the 10 billion bucks and put it to finding work for craftsmen, for union members. I'm talking good paying jobs, not minimum wage jobs. Real paying jobs. That means you get to have a little extra. You feed your family, you got a nice house, you can afford the property taxes somehow. And you got a little extra. That's what it's all about. Take that $10 billion and put it to finding not only an alternative energy, which causes no pollution, but all the other areas that are developing rapidly in our country. You say you haven't got time. Well, I say, you know, things can happen fast when you make them happen fast. We know that. We know that our country, the citizens of our country, have raised tens of millions or hundreds of millions of dollars for Haiti. We know that our government has spent uh, $950 billion in Iraq and Afghanistan. In a couple of few months, it's going to be $1 trillion. You're telling me we can't find the money to sustain and build programs that will teach every craftsman whatever he needs to know and get a good paying job producing good things that cause no damage to anybody. So I say to you, uh, you know, consider to our friends across the water in Staten Island, that 10 mile radius covers Staten Island. Uh, you know, if you talk about a catastrophic emergency, and I, I don't know whether that would happen or not, I just know that based on the record of history, catastrophes happen. And, uh, you know, you get out an evacuation plan, what, you know, you're at the and entry ramp to the Garden State Parkway and saying, no, you go first. You know, <laughs> it's crazy. It wouldn't work. Um, the Long Islanders shut down the shore nuclear power plant because you can't evacuate an island with that large population. And uh, so there's no possibility of evacuating Staten Island. There's no possibility of getting people away from here in a fast way. Uh, lastly, I, I just want to say, I really, I'm, I implore that you all think that we are in this thing together. We really are. And you have got to think, you know, I want you to have good paying jobs. I want you to get higher than whatever the latest contract rate is. That's the way it ought to be. But I want it to be in an industry that is productive and positive for everybody in society, even the ones who don't belong to unions. So for the sake of Linden and New Jersey, for the sake of Staten Island, I urge you to vote against the Memorandum of Understanding. And uh, I just want to end by saying I think this is exemplary, what you're doing. Uh, this is America at its best, and I'm grateful to you and for your attitudes. I beg you, please, to consider. I, I just do want to end by I, I have got to uh, call the union man uh, on, on one thing. Uh, these people are not extremists. They are Americans. They care for the environment because why? They want the same things for their families as you want for yours. We're all in this boat together, and uh, that's how we ought to act, and we can make it happen. Everybody can win, but you have to make it happen. Thank you.